Breaking news out of Washington on China. Eamon Javers has the details. Eamon. Hey there, Morgan. The Biden administration is announcing a much more narrow than expected set of proposed rules around investment in China at this hour. In an executive order, the president will direct Treasury to propose new rules regulating U.S. investment in three technology sectors in China quantum computing, semiconductors, and artificial intelligence. Now, some investments in those sectors will be prohibited entirely, and others will just be subjected to mandatory disclosure. There will not be any new proposed restrictions outside those high-tech sectors, though. And that's what makes this more narrow than many had expected, as some on Wall Street feel, feared that restrictions could be coming on a much broader array of investment categories. A senior administration official, uh, officials also said today they're considering exemptions for investments in publicly traded companies in China, which even more narrowly tailors today's move to the venture capital and private equity industries and the like. The reason for that, they said, is that the White House recognizes that the Chinese already have access to lots of money. What they don't have is know-how, according to senior administration officials. And it's the intangible benefits that come along with private investments that can transfer know-how, such as introductions to key experts, partnering with other portfolio companies, and that sort of thing that they're trying to get a hold of here. And while they were careful to say that they can't predict the Chinese reaction to today's move, they also revealed the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen briefed Chinese counterparts on this move when she was in China in July. So Beijing has had some notice that this is coming. These new rules will go through the Treasury Department regulatory process, so they won't take effect for some time now. Uh, and Morgan, it's worth noting that the choreography uh, of all this is always intentional with the White House. We're not going to see President Biden doing a big signing ceremony here today. In fact, he's in New Mexico today where he's just given a speech about the economy, uh, not mentioning this detail. So you can get a sense that this is not something that the administration wants to have front and center in the headlines uh, out of the White House today, Morgan. Back yeah. Up. I mean, I mean, the technologies that you just laid out there are all technologies that have direct military applications. So it sort of speaks to right. this national security component and perhaps why it's so targeted. But but the the lack of commentary from President Biden that's expected this afternoon, the fact that this is narrower than had originally been anticipated, how much of that is a reflection of the fact that this administration has been looking to at least optically or at least rhetorically uh, ease tensions and reinstate some lines of communication with China? Yeah, I mean, you've seen this like revolving door a series of cabinet secretaries going to China for visits and talks, trying to ratchet down those tensions. They say here uh, on this one also they've reached out to hundreds of stakeholders uh, in this process. So they've talked to industry extensively, they say, uh, about what is and is not a good idea here. Uh, and officials at the White House today were eager to portray this as a national security step, not an economic step. So they, want, they don't want this to be seen as part of the overall decoupling narrative of the two economies they want to see they want this to be seen as a narrow and targeted effort to restrict access to information flows and capital flows on certain technological sectors so they see this as very tailored to military specific things that could benefit the Chinese uh, you know effort militarily not an effort to weaken the overall Chinese economy at least that's how they're presenting it here we'll see what Beijing has to say about this when they do react yeah. Uh, very quickly, Eamon, just to confirm, this is only for new investments, right? Not existing? That's right. Okay. Yep. Eamon Javers, thank and, you. And private equity and venture capital are what they're talking about here. They say there might be a specific exemption for investing in publicly traded companies in China. That's still uh, TBD. A lot of this is still yet to be worked out. The regulatory okay. process will begin today.